Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashi Adani, and for today's video, we're recreating Phoebe, aka Daphne, from Bridgerton's makeup look for dry skin. It's a very simple look, so let's get started. All right, now that you guys are here, I feel like all Bridgerton fans have united over here for season two, and I'm so pumped for it. But talking about season one, I think Phoebe, that's Daphne, and Simon were my favorite characters. Simon is so hot, and she looks so flawless. Guys, she's 26, and she easily passes off as a 16 year old. I mean, her skin just is so flawless. So I thought we'll go through her everyday skincare and makeup routine. She has dry skin, I have oily skin which is gonna be a little tricky because she's used lots of hydrating products but I'm too excited to see how she goes about all this so let's get started. So the first thing she does is not wash her face which I find very weird because I have a lot of oil on my skin so I tend to wash my face but for today's video I have not. I'm just directly going to go in with a vitamin C serum. She uses a vitamin C serum as her first step. I'm using the one from Plum Goodness. This is a very nice serum. Next up, she goes in with a generous, generous layer of her eye cream. So I'm using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Under Eye Cream. This one is really good under your makeup. It does not crease or anything like that. It just gives like a very hydrated look under your eyes. Next, she uses a moisturizer, which I think is too much for the morning for me because if I stepped out like this, I would look like an oily mess, but um, it's okay. We want her skin clearly. So the video is in collaboration with Charlotte Tilbury, which is why you'll see throughout the video, she uses a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products. I don't have a lot of them, which is very sad, but I have a couple. So I'm using this moisturizer, which is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's supposed to give you like the perfect glowy base for underneath your makeup. I personally find it a little thick, which is why I don't use it very often. She goes around her neck as well. She doesn't forget it. My skin looks pretty heavily hydrated now. If this wasn't enough moisturization, she goes in with a facial oil. So I'm taking a few drops of my Rene Pre Makeup Glass Oil. So I'm using this one because it's quite light, because it's supposed to be for pre makeup. I am trying to follow her routine, but I'm also trying to keep in mind my skin and my weather conditions where I am. She then goes in with a frozen gua sha. So I'm trying to follow her steps. She first does this. I think I should be debuffing before makeup. My skin is already a little irritated by it. I don't know if it's the hydration. Next, she goes in with her sunscreen, which I appreciate. Very important step, of course, for everybody. I have been using a sunscreen every single day for the past month and a half, and I am really liking how my skin is behaving. Also, at the end of the day, it looks quite dewy, which I appreciate. I am using the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Zinc Sunscreen. This one is for sensitive skin. Now, I don't have sensitive skin, but I feel like because we're putting so many products today, I want to keep my skin quite calm. I'm going to introduce you oily skin babies to a hack that I discovered a while ago and works like wonders. Just take a tissue just one layer and it will just take away all the oily bits and nothing else it just won't look like an oily mess you know it's like when you fry something you do put it on tissue paper for a bit so all the oil gets absorbed and that's exactly what we did my skin looks much better now i'm gonna take it on my neck also because it feels a little too oily and even in the middle of the day if you feel like doing a touch up just take a plain tissue and pat it don't move your makeup around don't do anything just pat it and let it absorb the excess oil you could do the same thing with rice paper which obviously does a better job but if you can't find rice paper use a thin toilet paper or a tissue like this one next she uses the charlotte tilbury foundation i don't have it but i do know that it's a very dewy and less coverage sort of a natural finish um the dupe that i have for you today is the rare beauty foundation this one is way more pigmented so Daphne dots 
the entire foundation on her face with her fingers but the worst part is that she blends it with her fingers as well which is a little uh, icky like why would i do that when i have so many tools and i don't need to dirty my hands but i guess it gives a very natural finish so we're going to do that she's saying that she used to layer on makeup very thickly before and all i can say is same sis like now i'm i'm also like on an everyday basis i prefer foundations that just match my skin i don't over conceal i just like it to be very natural and i think that just works better the more you grow up and the more you mature lesser layers make your makeup look better okay so she does use a brush to blend her concealer which i'm like thank god she dots it under her eyes in a circle and she uses it around her mouth around her nose i feel like that's very little concealer for me but it's okay again i'm using the rare beauty concealer because it just fits me so beautifully and like it's perfect like spot on to my skin I also learned that she doesn't powder her under eyes which is a big no no for me like I have to powder my under eyes no there's no other way to look at it so I'm going to do that even though she doesn't she doesn't take it all over her lids but mine are quite pigmented so I'm going to take very little concealer like whatever is remaining on my brush on my lids you can see that blended seamlessly without any issues i feel like using a little more concealer so i'm going to use the uh, two face bond this way just over here because that's where i'm feeling a little too uncovered like it's just not looking perfect so just using very little of it i don't even just like to set my under eyes i like to bake it properly so they don't crease my under eyes crease way too much especially after all this skin care i mean i can't even expect anything else yeah i'm just going to go in with a little bit of the maybelline fit me loose powder and my damp sponge and i'm just going to press it lightly under my eyes and just under my eyes because she uses a lot a lot of cream products ahead which won't go with the powder so i need to just layer it under the eyes wherever we conceal and i'm going to let this bake your girl can't afford to not powder her face she just can't i've tried like thousands of different tricks and tips and never have to set your thing uh it just doesn't work if you have wrinkles under your eyes you just have wrinkles under your eyes and you have to keep them in check next she uses a brow pencil she uses the charlotte tilbury one i don't have it so i'm going to be using the faces all time brow pencil she likes to fill it in very naturally and she likes to go straight and not down uh sadly i do have longer brows hers kind of end over here which is why she goes straight i do have longer brows so i'm just going to fill it in naturally and not make it look bushy or big or anything like that now i'm combing it just to spread the product evenly Yeah, her brows just end over here, and it somehow looks great on her. I don't, I can't imagine myself with just this much brow. She then uses a big fluffy brush and puts a brown shadow just almost all over her lid. I have Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, one of them, so I'm just using that one. I don't think she's used this one, but I do have a brown shade from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm just trying to be in theme. This color just stuck on so beautifully and quickly. Just roughly, she blends it. She then wets an angled brush and then takes a black shadow and creates a tiny wing, just like just the stroke, not the entire eyeliner. So I'm gonna do that. It's definitely easier to do it like this if you're a beginner and you don't know how to use eyeliners you can just take a angled brush and wet eyeshadow and it will do the trick it's actually a very good hack i was seeing the trailer of bridgerton 2 and season 2 and i'm quite upset because i feel like she and simon don't play a very big role i don't know if that's just the trailer or what but i'm really upset about that because they're literally my favorite characters that's it she doesn't go inside she just creates the tiny wing and lets it be next she's going to curl her lashes i'm using the swati cosmetics eyelash curler 
you can take your lashes to the next level with an eyelash curler so if you don't curl your lashes already please start doing that she uses a charlotte tilbury mascara i am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This one is a limited edition one or something, which is why it has so many stars on it. And then she just looks up and coats her lashes. This is my first time trying the mascara, by the way. So let's hope it's the same old formula. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good, don't you think? She doesn't coat her under eyes, so we're not gonna do that either. Next, she uses a cream bronzer and this Nude Sticks one is my absolute favorite. This is all I've gotten of it. Like it's over and I'm really upset about it. Before that, let me just dust off my bake. That just instantly feels so much better because I feel like my under eyes are good to go for the rest of the day. Let's see her technique of applying the bronzer. She dots it directly. So I'm just gonna draw a line. Hers is way more cold than, like cool tone than mine is because mine is, I have a warmer skin tone. She has a very cool pink undertone. Let's blend it. Then she uses a cream blush. She just uses it with her fingers. So I'm using this blush from Ilana. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit, take it on my fingers and she likes to pat it right in the center, not lifted like I would like to do my blush. This technique will make your face look much fuller. So if you have a tiny face or a very thin face, this is where you should put your blush like she does, like she has a really tiny face. I would have liked it way more lifted, but I guess this works too. I guess I look a little fuller. Okay, she uses a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I don't have that. I have one from Primark, which is a very natural looking shade, like really natural. Like she has something that's matching her lips perfectly. So do I. And she doesn't go in with her lipstick, but I think I really need to. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk 02, I think. Very nude. I'm just doing one layer because my lips are quite pigmented they need a little bit of color and then she tops it up with a lip balm so i'm using my old and trusting petroleum jelly ideally i wouldn't do petroleum jelly or any lip balm i think her lips are way more pink so i'm gonna go in with another layer of the lipstick then she uncovers her freckle with a freckle pen i don't have any freckles on my face so i'm gonna let that be lastly she uses a liquid highlighter i'm using the rare beauty one again because it's kind of similar to the charlotte tilbury one and she dots it directly with the tube which is one of my pet peeves i like to take it on my hand and do it because i feel like you have so much more control with the product that way but i guess we're going in directly she does the nose she does the cupid's bow she does the brow bone and then she uses the same concealer brush to blend it. I'm not going to use this concealer brush because I don't like it. I'm going to use another concealer brush. So with the Rare Beauty one, you can't let it dry because then it forms this kind of a patch. You really have to blend it immediately, which is why I like using my fingers and probably a sponge. I did it her way, it didn't work for me, so let me just do this my way for once. I know it will work better, so like, I'm just using the other side of the sponge and directly placing the old product like this and blending it at the same time. You can see that works much better. Probably the Charlotte Tilbury one works how she's made it work, but this one wouldn't. I don't think I would use a finger as well because that would lift this product there we have it we have the highlighter on now i really am not a fan of the highlighter the rare beauty one because it just dries to a matte which just feels a little weird she then opens her hair does her hair and doesn't set her makeup which is a big no-no for me but because we're on the dewy theme of things i'm using the huda beauty glow coco hydrating mist I'm just gonna apply it
Okay, you guys, I'm obsessed with how this makeup looks. Like my under eyes, I'm glad I said them because they would be creasing. The rest of my face looks super dewy and juicy, and I really, really like it. I don't think I will be able to wear this outside if I'm traveling without AC or going to a place that only has AC, especially with a mask on right now. But oh my god, if I were to just wear makeup every single day at home. This look would look so pretty. The all the skincare products that we've used in, and yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. Let me know what you think about this look in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys super soon. Bye.